But in 1982, the Supreme Court case of McClellan versus the Kansas Board of Education ruled in a decision that gave a detailed definition of the term science, the court declared that creation science is not in fact a science. What that meant is that people were teaching high school, like me at that time, that meant I couldn't teach creation. It was a religion. You know, I, I, could teach, I could teach evolution because it fit the definition of science. Now, that, that court case was challenged by two teachers. One of them challenged it on the basis that he had the right to teach because of freedom of speech. He could do what he wanted to in his class. Well, he lost that case. And he lost it very simply because he was trying to teach creation in a public school that doesn't allow religion to be taught in a public school. He lost. He should have known better to bring the case. And then another guy challenged it. He challenged it on the idea that, well, I'll make my own curriculum. I'll show those guys. <laughs> well, of course, what happened is the school board said, hey, fella, you don't make the curriculum in this place. We make it. And he lost the case, too. Now, I hope that makes you understand why the creationists want to get to the seventh grade. They want to get to the seventh grade because that's the only place you can talk to school boards who don't know anything about evolution.